Hello. In this video, we're going to work through this example problem here, which applies the ideas of trigonometry. So you'll see here I have on this suggestion draw picture. This is a question from a problem set in class, and often students will scratch their head and not know what to do, and the first thing I would say is, have you drawn a picture? It's so important with these examples that you draw a picture of. So a man on a level plane finds that an angle of finds the angle of elevation of a point at the top of a 250 meter cliff is 38 degrees. How far must he walk towards the cliff so that the angle of elevation is 44 degrees? So what we have here, oh let's change our color. What we have here is we have this plane that looks like this, and I have a man that's standing here. Sometimes people will draw the stick man. I typically don't because we're not worried about his height. And this way it's very clear. And so what happens is we have a cliff here that's 250 meters. And from where the man is standing, the angle of elevation is 38 degrees. So then this man walks a bit and he ends up at a new point. And what he finds from this new point, the angle of elevation is 44 degrees. And we want to find how far he's walked towards the cliff. So, if we label this diagram A, B, C, C is a 90 degree angle, D, we need to find length AB. So the challenge with AB, we can see AB is part of the triangle ABD, which is not a right triangle, so our primary trig ratios don't work. But if I can find, I can make this statement here that AB is going to equal AC minus BC, right? So AC, the entire length minus BC. So we can actually figure out AC and BC and then from that calculate AB. So I'm going to do this in steps. So step one. We're going to find AC. So again, this isn't necessary, but for students that are having trouble, you know, just getting getting this to work, um, take a second and redraw the diagram. 38 degrees, 250 meters, and we want to find AC. So therefore, AC is the adjacent. So we have the opposite, so we use tan. So tan of 38 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 250, over the adjacent, which is length AC. So a little algebra here. AC tan of 38 degrees is equal to 250. So AC is equal to 250 over by tan of 38 degrees. Now the temptation here is to type this in your calculator and get an approximate value. Don't. Just leave it like this for now. This Think of it like a number in disguise. So what I'm going to do is just leave that like that for now and then I'm going to go on and calculate BC. So Another different color. Step two, I'm going to find BC. So again, I could, if I needed to, I could draw out, just do a little sketch here of the triangle. So 250 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is B, C, we know it's 44 degrees. And so therefore, we have the opposite. We want to find the adjacent, so we're going to use tan. So tan of 44 degrees, don't forget that degree symbol, is the opposite, which is 250 over BC. So BC, again, we'll just do all the algebra here, tan of 44 degrees. So BC okay. Again, I could find the approximate value here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like this um, because what I'll do with both of these is I'll sub them right into this equation we found earlier. So we're going to write now AB 
is equal to AC minus BC. And what this now means is I don't have to deal with any decimals or worry about calculator around and I'm going to get as accurate an answer as possible with my calculator. So speaking of my calculator, let's bring it in here. So the first thing I do, I've been doing a bunch of work on this earlier, but I want to make sure I'm in degrees mode. So to make sure that you're in degrees mode, remember, you can either check the settings on your calculator or we know that sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5. So I'll just do sine of 30 really quickly. Good, I'm in degrees mode. So I want to work this out. So I'm going to take tan, oh, clear, already incorrect. So I'm going to say 250 divided by tan of 38 degrees. Now notice I put that all in brackets. Just helps me organize. Brackets are like water wings. You don't always need them. But adding extra ones here and there when you're learning is always useful. Or to be sure your the calculator does not in the right order. 250 divided by tan of 44 degrees. And I hit equals and I get approximately 61.10. Let's say approximately 61.1. So AB is approximately 61.1 meters. So um, there's my answer. Therefore, he's watched 61.1 meters towards the cliff. And we could this is a word problem, so we should say therefore he has walked 61.1 meters towards. I hope that question helped. Have a wonderful day.